first breakfast idea that we're going to be making is a gluten-free peanut butter banana muffin. So all you'll need is black chia seeds. I just got these ones at Whole Foods. Any type of peanut butter. I love the crunchy peanut butter because I love the extra texture that it brings. And then I have these gluten-free English muffins. They're brown rice by the Food for Life brand. One banana and some blackberries for the side. So I will show you how I put all of this together. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I cut the muffin in half. You probably are wondering why I'm using such a big knife for this, but it's because they're still a little frozen. You can find these in the freezer section at Whole Foods or pretty much like anywhere. I know Kroger has them as well if you're in the Midwest. So once they just cut it in half, I'm just going to pop it in the toaster. Okay, so once you have your muffin all toasted and nice and warm, you're just going to go in with the peanut butter. I feel like this is pretty self-explanatory, but I take a lot like that and I just put it all over. So the second breakfast idea that we're going to be doing today is basically just a jazzed up oatmeal bowl. So I have my steel cut oats here. I have some blackberries, some strawberries, black chia seeds, and my peanut butter again. And then I have my bowl. So I will just show you guys how I make it. I'll probably end up needing some cinnamon as well. And yeah, let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a three-fourths cup and just add some oats. idea that we're going to be making is an egg white scramble so all you'll need is some mushrooms we have some kale one avocado and just regular egg whites 
So I am just going to fry this basically all up, add in the ingredients, and you have an egg white scramble. So I'll go ahead and show you how I make it.